What's up, everybody? Hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kavach Khanna, and this video is a part of my Christ Diaries. Today, as requested by all of you, I will be doing the campus review for the Hozur Road campus, or also known as the Central Campus. In this video, I will be doing an in-depth review, telling you guys each and everything about. the central campus that you need to know or or need to consider before you join this campus so make sure you watch this video till the very end for all those people who haven't subscribed to my channel please do as you would get regular notifications about any video that i post so let's get started what are the key facts about the central campus So this campus was the first campus of Christ University in India and it was established in 1969. So it has been there for many years now. They have more than 130 courses offered across undergraduate, postgraduate or doctoral programs. Approximately there are 16000 students on this campus alone with more than 60 nationalities represented. So now in terms of the number this is just huge for any university or a college so one of the main parts about christ university central campus is that it is filled with so many students the location of this campus is very very nice it is located in the dairy circle which is a very famous place in bangalore along with that it is very very near to kormangla which is like the heart of bangalore you would find each and everything in kormangla be it malls restaurants offices each and everything is in kormangla and christ university is just very very near to kormangla next up for all of you you have to understand that even if there 16000 people and more than 130 courses in the campus it's not that it is all run by the same thing christ university is just like an umbrella which has different departments or deaneries under it and then those deaneries work as a separate institution and then they offer the particular courses which you guys will be joining the list of the deaneries is as follows we have arts and humanities social sciences law sciences commerce management and school of education under these deaneries will you have your particular courses like in commerce you would have bcom bcom fna and things like that in management you would have bba i bhm and mba So these are the list of deaneries under which you would have your particular courses. Next up facilities. Now Christ University Central Campus in terms of facilities is just a paradise. It is heaven and the list is long guys. But I will still go through it. Firstly we have medical center. You have libraries literally I think there are two to three libraries in the Christ University Central Campus. There is there is music and jam rooms. There is basketball courts, cricket nets, moot court rooms. bus facilities cafeteria they have a mini auditorium they have indoor sports they have a soccer field they have auditorium which is amazing i'll just get to that in a while they have labs for different different courses they have recording rooms they have a birds park they have all kinds of sports facilities that a student would need all of them are there in the central campus then they have hostels both for boys and girls I've already made a detailed video on hostels of Christ University so you guys can check that out. Then now the campus of Christ University is 25 acres which means it's huge and it has everything that a student would need. They have a gym, they also have a waste management plant inside Christ University. They have now Christ University is a part of Dharmaram College which is a 100 acre campus. So Christ University's 25 acres is in is along with dharmaram uh, the dharmaram campus which is 100 acres so christ university and christ university students are free to use the facilities provided by dharmaram college as well so a lot of parking of christ university students would happen in the dharmaram college we use their soccer field we use their basketball courts as well along with the ones which are there in christ university and they are just the same institution so you would not know which part is dharmaram which part is not and that is one of the greatest advantages of central campus Then you have conference rooms, seminar rooms, and events and fest. In terms of events and fest, trust me, guys. I think in Christ Central Campus, each and every day you would be having something or the other. The vibe at this campus is great. 
Now, here are a few pictures that I got from the internet and I thought that I'll share it with you guys. This is the Christ University's Central Campus's auditorium and trust me, it is a state of the art technology. Each and every Christite joining Christ University Central Campus brags about the auditorium of Christ University. I think if I'm not wrong, this has been voted as the best auditorium in India which any educational uh, institute has. And it is just great. Like if once, if whenever you will be sitting inside this auditorium, you will so you will feel so proud of jo joining Christ University. And they have a lot of events and competitions in this camp in this auditorium. So I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy every minute that you spend in this auditorium. This is another picture of the auditorium. We had Jeffrey Archer coming to the main campus, and uh, this is how the auditorium looks when it is filled. A lot of big eminent personalities would come to the campus. Each and everybody is invited to be a part of, of these guest talks. This is the Christ University Library. Christ University Library is a three-floor library, which is also known as the Knowledge Center. However, one floor is just specifically for the law students, but the other two floors can be used by each and everybody. They also have another library which is in another block, but this is their main library, and this also has state-of-the-art infrastructure, and they have the best publications, best research papers. And everything that a student would need in terms of research, would you would find it in the Knowledge Center at Christ University Central Campus. This is the canteen at Christ University Central Campus. I'm really sorry for the pixelated picture, but this is all I could find. And uh, all the uh, this is the new canteen, and you would find everything in terms of infrastructure at Christ University's campus. Great. This is the Christ University basketball court. There are a lot of basketball courts, but I think this is the main one where all the competitions and the tournaments happen. This is the moot court room. So for all the law students, Christ University has a very, very nice moot court room in the central campus, which is in the central block of the central campus. And it's just great. They have a lot of competitions here and everything about these rooms and the infrastructure is amazing. This is a board room which is I think for the Department of Commerce like you guys can use any of the facilities provided by the central campus but you have to book it in advance so this is a conference room, board room students use this for a lot of competitions coming to the faculty profiles Christ University central campus has more than 500 faculties but obviously you will not be taught by all the 500 of the faculties but uh, like they've divided it into different departments and uh, each of the faculty is then part of either of one either of the department so you guys can check online i will be providing the link of the faculty profiles in the description below so you guys can you guys are free to check out the faculty profiles like you can see in this screenshot we have view profile where you can click and check the individual profiles of the faculty members they also have their email ids provided so you guys can email them if you guys have any doubts questions or queries relating to your course curriculum and Please uh, check out your, the faculty profiles of your particular courses. Uh, this is I think from the Department of Management because I've been taught by these faculty members so I just took a screenshot of them. You guys can check out the faculty profiles of your own courses and then feel free to know about them or email them. In terms of pros and cons of Christ University, this is my opinion and my personal view on it. In terms of the cons, firstly the biggest con of the Christ University Central Campus is that it is too crowded like believe it or not guys 16,000 students on one campus each and every day means that you would have to wait for each and everything to give you guys an example like during our lunch breaks which was one hour lunch break uh, and that was the time when all the other students would also have a had their lunch break even though Christ University would have a lot of cafeterias and canteens but still you would find waiting on each and every cafeteria and the canteen so we had to run in fast so that we can get our food or otherwise we have to wait like literally half an hour or one of our friends would keep standing in the line so that he can order for everybody. So that is like you know they, you would find waiting on ATMs, you would find waiting for playing, you would find waiting for using the lift and it's just so much you know it's just too crowded so you have to learn to deal with the crowd because it's not that everything is going to be fast track. Secondly expensive living. Now Christ University is very very centrally located and that brings one of its biggest cons that is the living expenditure around Christ University is very very expensive. 
I'm not talking in terms of the hostels or the PGs because their prices are approximately same to that of the any other campus. But for a person's uh, living on its own, which is like if you have to book a rented apartment, the cost there is very very expensive because a lot of two people who are not a part of Christ University also would prefer to stay near Kormangla or near Hozu Road because it is just so very centrally located. So because of that, as a student. like it becomes very tough for students to afford that kind of lifestyle and i know a lot of people who are studying in the central campus they are not staying anywhere near to the campus because they could not get a good room or in the budget of their own so they had to move like 3 to 4 or 5 kilometers away from the central campus just because just so they could afford a good living style at the same time not compromising on other things such as their budget so that these are the two biggest cons that i could find of So, you know staying and studying in Christ University central campus in terms of pros i think there are many pros of being in the central campus firstly it is centrally located believe it or not like bangalore and traffic in bangalore is something which not everybody would like because like the traffic in bangalore is so bad that for even for 5 to 7 kilometers it will take you 30 to 45 50 minutes to travel because of the traffic and christ university being centrally located means that you don't have to choose any mode of transportation if you walk you will reach faster to the place when i was in the central campus i hardly booked an uber or an ola all i had to do was just walk i used to walk every day to the central campus even when i had to go to kormangla i used to just walk for 5 minutes and everything was just so convenient because you don't have to book an uber ola or take the bus since this campus is in is near kormangla you just you just don't need to go anywhere else because everything about bangalore their specialities everything is in kormangla itself so this is one of the biggest biggest pros of being in the central campus secondly the campus is self sufficient what do i mean by that is everything that you desire in a college that in terms of facilities infrastructure it should have christ university already has that everything you name of the facility it is already there established and running not that you have to set up something or not that you have to request something of like in terms of applications in terms of infrastructure in terms of technology in terms of high tech classes everything is already there at christ university main campus and the amount of money like christ university has spent in building up this huge infrastructure it's just great i know all the other campuses are also coming up and they are going to be having the same kind of infrastructure but just because christ university is already established like you don't need to worry about anything it's just like you go and you start using those facilities next up multicultural experience just like there is a con of so many students being on campus the pro of so many students being on campus is that each and every student at christ university central campus would have a multicultural experience just because there are 16000 students from 16 nationalities and just in case if you interact with those people you would get to learn so much and your exposure would be great christ university is aiming to be an international organization which means in the coming years there would be so many more international students at christ university and if you be a part of this university which is already established it would be great you would get to learn so much about different cultures and cuisines and the lifestyle of different different people so these are the pros and cons that i found of studying in the central main campus next up things around central campus now that it is centrally located you guys do not have to worry about anything but yes now that you guys would have to book for your accommodation specifically pgs or flats so i would suggest you try looking for looking for a place near sg palya road tavrekare road or the chick lane Now these are the three roads which are very very near to Christ University. S G Palayan Road is just the first road towards the right of main campus. The Tavrekar is the second road towards the right of main campus, and Chick Lane is just opposite Christ University main campus. Now I'm pretty sure the name was not Chick Lane, but still people call that Chick Lane now because all the girls PGs are there on in that lane. So that is the reason it is called Chick Lane. but sg palya and tavrekar is for boys and girls both so you guys can check out your pgs or flats uh, towards near to these places so that it's very very easier for you to come back and go to the university as and when required along with that this is a very student community area so you would be you would feel very very safe being in these surroundings 
along with that the everything that a student would need is there in these three lanes so this would be very very comfortable and i would highly recommend that you guys book a pg or a flat or anything uh, in these three lanes if possible now in terms of malls and everything like i've told you forum mall which is the first mall of bangalore is almost opposite to christ university main campus you would literally find that mall filled with christ sites all the time then just towards the other side is kormangla which is like the heart of bangalore and i personally love kormangla because it has each and everything that i like anyone would need even though all and also all the videos that i'm making about bangalore's best they majorly have places from kormangla itself so for all the students studying in central campus you just have to walk and go to the best of the best places in bangalore along with that you also have btm layout which is behind christ university 2 to 3 kilometers and a lot of students who are looking for rented apartments uh, which are cheaper but also have a very good quality they stay towards the btm layout then there's wilson garden which is towards the left of christ university central campus and a lot of students stay there as well in terms of hospitals departmental stores medical shops and gyms you guys do not have to worry about anything everything is there just like in walkable distances in 1 minute to 2 minute from christ university central campus you would have each and everything that a student would need just because there are 16000 students there they and all this the whole community around central campus focuses on delivering the best of the facilities to the students so if there's a demand for 16000 students they pretty much there's a supply for those 16000 students as well and a lot of people earn their livelihood through the students of christ university so in terms of things around central campus you guys do not have to worry about anything it is just a heaven it's just a paradise and in terms of student communities i think it is one of the best areas in bangalore to be it is very very safe you will have police people patrolling all the time and it's just it's just so homely because there's so many students around so you do not feel that you are in a very secluded or isolated place because all the students after classes they would be chilling either somebody would be drinking a juice or eating dinner or anything so it's just very very homely as a vibe around christ university central campus next up other important things that you guys have to make sure before you join central campus is firstly the brand name now we all know christ university's brand name is great but um, one request that i would have is to check out the brand name of your particular course and the course value of the course that you are doing not each and every of the 130 courses at christ university central campus are great and they are the best in india it's not like that there are a few courses which are actually the best in india but then there are few other courses which are not the best in india so make sure you check like i can vouch on the brand name of christ university as like a university but you still have to check of your particular course and what is the value of that particular course in the indian market don't uh, confuse it with the value of university because christ university's value as a university is great but you also have to check how valued is your course in the indian market and you know what people think about the course that you are doing from christ university maybe for xyz course some other university or college is better than christ university so you guys have to check about that brand name of that particular course as well in terms of placement data i know it is a very very important thing that you guys should check before you move to christ university i have already made a detailed video which is called the truth about the placements at christ university i will be putting down the link of that video in the description so make sure you check that out and that video also has official data from christ university so you guys can check that out and it would give you a very fair idea of how your course is in terms of placements not all the courses are very good in terms of placement so that video will really help you on that again in terms of return on investment you guys would have to do your math and your calculation on that because not all the course prices at christ university central campus are the same there are a few courses which are very very cheap and then there are the other courses which are very very expensive so you guys have to check that along with that if you compile it with the placement data you would be able to know what kind of return on investment you would have on your particular course so please make sure you do that in terms of exposure like i've talked about it i think one of the biggest pros and like the biggest advantages of being in the christ university central campus is the exposure because you would find a lot of international students there then there are a lot of exchange students who are, who come to christ university each year 
and then they just be a part of your university they in the evenings you would jam with them you would play basketball with them you would play all the sports with them and all for all the competitions and tournaments they are going to be a part of it so your exposure is great along with that like i've told you about the vibe each and every day some of the other department would be hosting something be it either a flash mob or a food carnival or a halloween night or anything like they just have so many things they celebrate so many festivals and it's just every day you would have something or the other specifically during the lunch times because that is the free time and then there are a lot of brands sponsoring and things like that so christ university central campus vibe each and every day is very very lit in terms of my personal experience uh, i stayed for one year in the christ university central campus which was in 2015 and i would say i was just lucky to have been there because there was so much learning that i could get just being in the main campus because like it just has everything and for me that one year was very very convenient in terms of my learning my exposure and in terms of my networking because i got to meet so many people and i was i was also staying in sg palya so it was i was staying very very near to the main campus and i used to keep going to and fro to the main campus i used to be there in the main campus till like 8 8:30 and a lot of students in the christ university central campus they're there like literally till the evening so the guards don't kick you out like nobody wants to leave the university because in the evenings like after 4 o'clock the when the classes end the like the surroundings and the environment just completely changes and everybody just enjoys being in the university some people would be in the library they would be studying the other people would be playing music few people would be sitting in the park and chit chatting when the others would be playing sports so it's just like great and i know i loved each and every bit of that one year that i spent in the main campus so that's about it for this video guys i hope you like this video if you guys did do give it a thumbs up comment below if you guys have any doubts questions or queries relating to the central campus i would be more than happy to help don't forget to share this video with your friends who are thinking about joining christ university or have already got an admit from the christ university central campus lastly do not forget to subscribe to my channel because it is very very important for me and my motivation along with that it would keep you guys notified whenever i upload any other new video thank you so much take care bye bye